Yo guys, welcome back to episode 2 of the uh, Every Gun in Black Ops Zombies, or the best gun, whatever you want to call it. Episode 2, we have the RK5 this time. Obviously, I've got it here in the uh, red red hex camouflage, I believe. Yeah, there you go. You can probably just about see it there. Red, red hex camouflage with the ELO sight, laser sight. Um, this gun, first impressions on low rounds, very, very good and effective. Um, as you can see there, pretty much, you know, two, two bursts and that guy was down. Three bursts for that guy. Um, leading on from the first episode, we have these death and taxes still here. Obviously, from the first episode, if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. Um, yeah, so first impressions on this gun is very, very solid. Especially if you're on low rounds trying to play um, trying to play for 500 points. Very, very cheap gun. Very, very affordable as well. Good for racking those points up to get you going, like. Um, I'm not too sure it's going to be like on dogs. Not very good. Um, saying that, we are on round 10, so to even kill a dog is probably quite good for this gun. Um, so yeah, I, I, do, I do like this gun, especially when it's upgraded. I've upgraded it before. Probably one of the first guns I upgraded, I think. And it probably was one of my most favourite ones as well. Um, you're obviously going to see, see that in this video. So yeah, once this gun's upgraded, I'll be back with the, uh, the footage and tell you guys what I think. Right, guys, you're just putting the RK5 in the pack punch right now. 5,000 points. As per usual, uh, getting it back out, we got the Rex Calibre uh, 115. 30 bullets in the magazine, 180 in the uh, backup. Obviously, look, looks really nice. Pack punch this gun as well. Obviously, they all do. It's quite a nice uh, pack punch camouflage. Um, a very, very solid gun, this one as well. I, I do quite like this one for round 13 as well. It's pretty effective. Um, we don't have a speed killer, which is obviously a disadvantage. Um, there you go, two two bursts and he's down. One burst for him because obviously a headshot. Uh, we've still got the death and taxes as well, which is obviously uh, much more effective. However, this gun this gun uh, does perfectly fine for me. Obviously, very very uh, uh, three shot burst, so the fire rate isn't out of this world. But you know we can we can deal with that. We can deal. Obviously, this gun being quite low magazine, uh, quite quite a low magazine, and quite a small clip, is not really ideal for what you want on zombies. You want something with a lot more, uh, lot more ammo in the in the chamber, ready to go, ready to fire into the zombies. Especially if you're going to try and camp at the catwalk, um, which is probably the best place to camp on this map, in my opinion. Um, it's not the best gun for this, that sort of thing, especially with all these all these starter. Uh, starter room wall purchases all the guns in this room aren't very uh aren't really what you want to be running around with especially on a map like this in high rounds like round 13 14 15 upwards of 20 etc etc but yeah in my opinion this one's a very very solid gun um i do enjoy using it uh not the best gun i want to use in my opinion uh power is quite good though power is pretty good for for this round as well three burst headshot look as you're seeing right here Obviously, almost out of ammo already. There's a bar, I'll take that. Um, but yeah, other than that, this gun's uh, pretty good for low rounds if you're looking for something to go around with. Other than that, it's not really usable, in my opinion. But yeah, if you have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, and I'll uh, I'll catch you guys in the next.